The Real Housewives continues to ride the wave of success as the series surfs deep into its second decade. Little did we know that the franchise would grab so many eyeballs after its debut with the Real Housewives of Orange County back in 2006, but the fans have been hooked on sassy taglines, catfights, and of course the ladies' lavish lifestyles. Speaking of lifestyle, how could we not discuss these housewives mansions? I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer and in this video we are going to go through the top 10 Real Housewives mansions. Since there are so many contenders, I'm just going to call this part 1. But let's dive into them, shall we? Let's kick things off with number 10, Ramona Singer, a Real Housewives of New York City OG. She's the only cast member of Real Housewives of New York who's appeared on all the seasons of the reality show. Singer not only owns a plush apartment on Manhattan's Upper East Side, but her prized jewel is her second home in the Elite Hamptons. Located in Southampton and Suffolk, it's really more of an estate that sits on 1.4 acres of land. The house boasts a six bedroom, five and a half bathroom home and spans 7,000 square feet of gray hardwood flooring, brushed nickel hardware and French doors. Not to mention the gated estate sits oceanside and has a gymnasium, tennis courts, staff quarters and a pool that's heated of course. The current value of the home is at nearly $7 million, not bad for a house that the Real Housewives of New York star purchased nearly 30 years ago for less than a million dollars. Next, we have the daughter of rock legend John Mellencamp and the founder and owner of All In by Teddy, a lifestyle and fitness company, Teddy Mellencamp. This 40-year-old Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star recently purchased a modern farmhouse style home in the Encino neighborhood of Los Angeles for a whopping sum of $6.49 million. The newly constructed estate has seven bedrooms and seven and a half bathrooms and sits on a massive gated lot. It features a basketball court, sun deck, fireplace lounge, pool, hot tub, and waterfall that cascades down from the roof of the cabana. Talk about resort-like feel. Other notable elements that came with the price tag include the wine room, theater, games room, and massage and exercise room. Number 8 has got to be the former Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star who tragically lost her Malibu home in the Woolsey fires of 2018, Camille Grammer. Despite having to rebuild, of course her home was nothing short of stunning. She told Page Six the process was a nightmare, but it looks like the result of her work turned out to be a sweet paradise. Boasting 7 bedrooms and 13 total bathrooms, the French style property offers complete privacy behind 24-7 guarded gates as well as easy access to all the entertainment, dining and retail destinations in Malibu. The 7,814 square foot main residence includes a gourmet kitchen, a climate controlled wine cellar, a wood paneled library and a luxurious master suite with a private sitting room, oceanfront balcony and spa like bathroom. If you think the indoor space is elegant, you don't know half of it when it comes to the outside. The house features a resort style swimming pool, a bathhouse, a barbecue area, two outdoor spas, a tennis court with a viewing terrace, cinema, exercise room, six stall equestrian facility, as well as an organic vegetable garden and a fruit orchard. Phew, that's quite a lot. Sutton Strack of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills holds the number 7 spot after purchasing this Beller mansion for $7.7 .7 million in October 2020. She hasn't officially moved in yet due to the ongoing renovation process, but her mansion was last assessed at $7.9 million. In fact, she's currently renting a house from co-star Kyle Richards. Sutton's 6 bedroom, 6 and a half bathroom home currently spans 6,600 square feet on an acre lot near the Hotel Bel Air. It was built in 1936 with a grand curved staircase and crown molding. Currently it's unknown how much of a facelift Sutton has planned, but on the list is a theater, an office, and an infinity pool. Well, we're sure looking forward to know how this one will turn out, and no doubt, it's going to be epic. Speaking of Kyle Richards, her home is number 6 on the list. Kyle and her husband bought their 1912 colonial house previously owned by Motown legend Smokey Robinson in 2017. The iconic estate is known as the Smokey Robinson Estate and spans over 10,600 square feet on a 1.5 acre lot. 
There are eight fireplaces placed throughout the home, including a few in the seven bedrooms, three of which are in the suite adjacent to the master suites. A state-of-the-art kitchen, a home theater, library, and multiple living spaces provide every amenity one could desire. An 800 square foot balcony overlooks the entire property from the expansive master suite, providing a stunning view of everything from the new swimming pool down to the tranquil creek. Then for the lucky guests, there's a 1,600 square foot guest house that provides plenty of space for staying overnight, which is good because we all know this duo likes to party. If you're planning to buy a house and your pocket allows $9.5 million, here's one for you. At number five, it's Dorit Kemsley and her husband Paul Kemsley's home in Encino, California, recently up on the market for grabs. The Kemsleys purchased this six bedroom, contemporary farmhouse style house for $6.5 million in August 2019. From the streets, the property sets a dramatic black and white look with black gates, doors, fixtures, and trim. The interior boasts a blend of varied wood tones and textures, while the outside living area features a pool and a pool house with a half basketball court. A master suite balcony and summer kitchen are a few of this property's additional exterior details that certainly add to the value. This house has been on and off the market for eight months, with an asking price between $9.5 million and $8 million. It's now available for rent for $75,000 a month. With number four, we're back in New York City with Sonia Morgan, formerly a member of the Morgan family, who lives in the townhouse. And that townhouse is estimated to be worth $10.75 million. The Real Housewives of New York star originally bought the five bedroom, five bathroom Upper East Side townhouse in 1998 for 2.6 million. It was built in 1899, is 4,650 square feet, and spans five floors. The house comes with a courtyard with a fountain fish pond, an outdoor terrace on the upper level, and a Murano glass chandelier. The house also features a sauna, gym, library, and more. Sonia told Daily Mail of the outdoor space, I have a love for nature and this is where I meditate. I have my rose bushes and I have my fish pond. Well, good going for you, Sonia, because that is rare in the Big Apple. If you're a regular watcher of Bravo's Vanderpump Rules and Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, you must be all too familiar with Lisa Vanderpump's breathtaking mansion, which takes the number three spot. She purchased this 8,800 square foot Beverly Hills mansion in 2011 for $10.2 million and it's customized to the nines. The five bedroom, eight bathroom home has oversized steel windows giving vast canyon views and has a two story library, a media room, a large pool and a guest house. Lisa's estate is renowned for all of its touches of pink and its shimmering and stylish design, as well as huge closets, amazing views, a cute swing, and also a good amount of animals. Undoubtedly, her sprawling Beverly Hills mansion is quite worthy of its own name, Villa Rosa, and I think this one might be my personal fave. Nearing the end of our list, we got the Pasadena crib of Erica Jane at number two. Designed in 1928 by Myron Hubbard Hunt, the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star's mansion features iron gates that lead into the motor court and then through a solid bronze front door. At 10,277 square feet, the home has four bedrooms and nine baths. The solid bronze front door is flanked by palm trees and lion statues. It opens to a walnut paneled foyer that screams dark, heavy, and old style luxury. Erica's abode has a living room with wood paneling and two fireplaces, one at each end. The huge formal rooms are elegant and designed for entertaining large groups, featuring floor to ceiling glass doors with views over the terraces and gardens. Meanwhile, the kitchen is a bright room with a grand chandelier. A wall of French doors lead out to the grounds where a veranda extends out to a series of fountains cascading down to the pool and the romantic chandelier lit pavilion. According to sources, Erica's Pasadena property is on sale for $13 million after her shocking divorce from her husband, Thomas Gerardi. Finally, for number one, we have the former Real Housewives of Orange County cast member, Heather Dubrow's Newport Beach Mansion. I can hype this house as much as I want, it's going to live up to that hype. It's going to exceed that hype, said her husband, Terry Dubrow, of the 22,000 square foot home that he shares with Heather. And it's more like a luxury hotel when you see the place. Heather and Terry Dubrow purchased the lot for the house in 2013 for $4.2 million, and Heather has custom designed it herself from the ground up. 
They fondly called the Dubro Chateau while it boasts seven bedrooms, 14 bathrooms, a $1 million movie theater, and a $12,000 wine display and cooler. Adding on, there's a 10 layer chandelier that hangs in the 28 foot tall foyer, an onyx bar that offers two beers via tap, and an interior courtyard with trees that apparently had to be lifted by a crane. Hold on, that's not all. The estate has a freestanding barbecue cabana and a spa that flows into the swimming pool via a waterfall. Care to know Heather's favorite feature in Dubro Chateau? The ring for champagne button. And yes, it actually works. That's some money well spent, don't you think? So which was your favorite housewife mansion? I gotta say, each had their own unique flair, but Lisa Vanderpump's is by far my choice. Glamorous touches, lots of pink, and not to mention it's a sanctuary for animals, including ponies and her dogs. It sounds just like heaven. Let us know your fave down in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram and thanks for watching. Bye!